Next, we are going to install a new oil pump. This is a Melling high volume oil pump. Now you say, what's the difference with oil pumps? Should I go with a high volume or should I go with a high pressure? Stock oil pumps are said to have 10 PSI of oil pressure for every 1,000 RPMs. So at 2,500, you'd have 25 pounds of oil pressure. With a high volume oil pump, it does not increase the amount of pressure, but it increases the amount of oil flowing through the bearings, which is good for an older engine, which has a little bit more bearing clearances, which is what I have here. Now, this Melling pump comes with the pickup, and it also comes with a solid steel shaft. Normally on a Chevrolet, it has a little plastic retainer here that keeps your uh, pump engaged. So this one comes with the all steel one. Mellon recommends that your oil pump pickup be about a half an inch above the bottom of the pan. I measured my pan and my pan is seven and three eighths of an inch from the mounting edge to the bottom of the pan. So I want to be at about seven inches with my pickup. So I hold my pickup at seven inches to the screen and then make a mark. Verify again, and then I will install my pickup. I will take the pump and the pickup off and install the pickup on the pump, and then at that point in time, I will reinstall it. So, once you have your pickup marked and your pump marked where your pickup has to go, then you need to install the pickup in the pump. And there is a tool that you can buy for this. Otherwise, as everybody knows, I like to make everything. This is a piece of half inch pipe. I cut out two and a half inches in length and then I took a piece of three quarter inch round stock and laid it in here and pounded it to open it up so that it fits better around the pickup. And that's how we're gonna do that. Then you need a solid surface and a wooden block to set yourself up. Get your marks all lined up. Put your tool on there. Set your pump down. Get your hammer. Hold it all straight, lined up. and tap your pickup down into place. So now I wanted to re-verify this for myself and I put a half inch bolt on the bottom of my oil pump pickup and put grease on it again and I verified it and you can see the grease on the bottom of the oil pan. So this, that means the screen will be about um, almost three quarters of an inch from the bottom of the pan but I'd rather have it uh, picking up clean oil and not any sediment or uh, shavings from the bottom of the oil pan. Now I have run a quarter inch tack from the cast body to the pickup. Realize that this needs to be a nickel rod because if you use a standard ER70S2 rod when you're welding this it will crack because of the cast. So you need to use a nickel rod on this. You need to heliarch it. You also want to hook your ground to the pickup, not to the pump body, because then you'll be going through the gears and you could damage some of the gears inside of here. So you want to hook directly to the pickup with your ground, and then you want to start out with your heat 
on the pickup tube and work up towards your, your cast body. Get your tack on there. Milliden makes a very unique rubber one piece gasket. Stops gasket leaks, reinforced steel inserts around the bolt holes so that it, you can only pull it down so tight. It never can be over tightened and it's reusable. Um, being I'm kind of untrusting sometimes, I will still put a little bit of silicone there, 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 and there, which are the always leak spots uh, on a small block Chevy. So I installed a little silicone on each corner. Don't get crazy again. Uh, you only want a little bit. But looking at this gasket, it is a, a really nice setup. The Melling oil pump that I'm installing, a high volume oil pump, has a shaft that they supply with that pump and it has a steel collar as compared to the factory plastic collar that comes with the oil pump. Now just realize this has to be put in before you put the oil pump on because you can't fit this collar through the hole in the rear main bearing. So it has to go on prior to putting the pump in place. So I will put that on, slide it down into position, Get it all the way down on there and then it slides down a little bit, but that's okay. And then I can put my bolt in and I will torque my oil pump bolt down to 60 foot pounds in three increments. So we'll start out at 20, which is where I'm at now. And we'll go up to 40. And now we'll take it up to 60. Verify it again. And the oil pump is installed and now we can go into installing the oil pan. Now then we'll set the pan in place. Get it down in its area. And start installing the bolts. You're going to want to put the small ones in first. They're quarter inch. Take okay. on the Milliden ones, which I bought all new. They take a three eighths socket. You want to get everything started before you start pulling it down, provided you can get them all in. Sometimes you gotta the bigger ones on the end. You may have to pull. quarter inch ones down before you can get the 5 16 end bolts started because they have a little thicker piece of plate on the end and they don't make the bolts any longer. Again, I'm not going to coat this engine, as you can see, with anything, because I was originally uh, just distressed over paint never sticking to cast surfaces very well. So I'm going to make it, let it take its own set as far as what color it wants to be. It's part of the reason why I went to the anodized zinc plated uh, covers. So everything on this engine that's steel is 
been anodized so that I don't have to put paint on it and it will not rust. Okay, I'm going to take them down a little bit and now we'll see if we can get these end bolts to start. Well, you don't need to sit and watch me do this. I will get that on my own time, tighten these down good, and then I'll be ready to turn the engine over and uh, start putting the heads on. <laughs> 